Do you have an off-season flow, like, far as, like, you know, what you do when you're not in the studio, how you recharge your brain in order to, like, come up with these next songs for the next project? Mm, I wouldn't say not really. I just, I'm just living and just, like, just, like, taking my, like, experiences, and then I just save them. And then when I go to the studio, I just put it back in. My music, that's all, I, that's, that's all my music is, like life experiences or somebody I seen having or something like that. And it just done stuck with me and it made sense in the song. Yeah. Like what's an experience that's happened to you in your life that you want to make a song about it, but you haven't really figured out a way to, I guess, verbalize what you want to say or get the right emotion across or maybe you just haven't found that beat yet? Mm, I don't know. I probably already got that song. I got a lot of songs, man, that, that, that I don't know when I want to release because I feel like, like people ain't going to understand it yet. I got to be bigger. I feel like some songs I got not big enough for me yet. I got to wait. To the, yeah, the, you know what I'm saying? Because right. it be so deep and it be like stuff that not happening or like somebody know somebody going to really relate or touch somebody. And it's just like I ain't ready to just put that out yet. I want to wait till it's the right time. So something done happened with somebody else and it's it's like like publicized and everybody know about it. Yeah. Then I can put it out. Are both of your parents around? Yes. Are they still together? No. It's such a common thread with like most not just artists, but just most people. Like yeah. were you raised by your mom or your pops? I was raised by my mom. Like I always lived with my mom, but my dad, he just like he always just was like there like Verbally, like, he gonna call, like, he gonna pull up when he can. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he was, like, in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm I'm, like, I'm I'm happy, like, for the day he was because he showed me tough love. And it really, like, made you, made me who I am. Like, bro, you got to go get it. And it, and I understand it today. I used to be like, man, why you, why you want to just give me $5,000, man? <laughs> like, and I know you got it. And this is like, he like, I'm finna give you five thousand dollars for to go spend it for. What what I'm gonna do that for? You ain't finna do nothing with the money. So like, I just understand back then when I was younger, like that's why he was like. I look at my situation like somebody asking me for something. It's like, what I'm gonna give you all this money? I give you five hundred dollars. Yeah, like five thousand dollars is a pretty like hefty like request from a parent. Like, what were you about to do with five thousand dollars? Shop, lit like. I felt like $5,000 was like enough to live, like just day to day. And how old were you at the time? About 14, 15. Shoot, man, $5,000 is like hitting lottery when you're 14 or 15. I mean, depending on how you're spending it, but. I mean, 15, I'm in the ninth grade. So, you know, you got, you got to understand, like, ninth grade, we every Jordan that come out every Saturday. So, so were you Jordan <laughs> down, Louis Vuitton, Gucci down when you was in ninth High grade? High school, yes. Say word. What was your, what was your, you still got your first piece? What? You, what? you know, because like when oh, you get like, vintage like, stuff chain, like that, like, you hold. I'm talking about just like when you get like high end fashion like that, like a, like a, like you know a yeah, Louis yeah, piece, yeah. a dope chain. You know, it's kind of like sentimental value. You don't you didn't nah, hold on to it? Nah, I always got rid of like stuff like that, like consignment. That's why I got like into consignment. Like man, I want to get D, but I I still got D. Hey, they gonna buy these. Then you go buy them. <laughs> That's how I got in that business. Like, oh yeah, you can't hold this. Man, you gotta get out for it. You a smart dude, man. I yeah. rocks with it, man. For sure. Yo, what song is out that you wish was yours? Kiki, do you love me? Are you running? That song right now. Right now. Yo, I wish I had that song right now. Drake keeps figuring it out. And like, People come with their spears of hate for Drake, and it's just like, what can you possibly say? Like, what really can you possibly say about Drake? Like, I mean, you could throw the argument, yo, he doesn't write his own raps, but whatever. Like, no one's doing what he's Congratulations. doing. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. Yeah. That's all you can say, unless you're a hater. Yeah, it, ta it takes get energy. Get motivated. This man, is, he's standing on the charts. You need to get motivated. You yeah. need to see what's going on. You need to get active. Have you ever met Drake? Yes, I met him. Word. Was he cool? I met him um, in Atlanta. We was at uh, we was at baby um, I think it was a mixtape release party. Mm. He pulled up and um, 
he 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 like he was over there with P P like man come over here meet Drake cause I gave you just talking to him asking him out man we just chopped it up cool dude yeah yeah Canadian as hell man but yeah he definitely got his own got his own thing going on carved sure. his own niche for sure and I had I had even met him before then I'm um, on tour with Doug but I wasn't really like just like see me hey shake my hand type I wanna know that type kind of play played it back always the opportunity always when. When he found out later who I was, he was like, bro, I didn't even, I didn't even, bro, he was on, on, no, that's crazy. So you let the hype come to you? Oh, God. That's what's I ain't up. never been the type to be like, hey, I rap, listen to my music. I'm just like, they gonna hear it. Even like when I got with Thug, everything, like, I never told him to hear my music, like, hear this or get on this. It was like, oh, we at the studio. Hey, you got a, you got another room up here? Let me see it right quick. So Thug heard about you, found you. Nah, like, I met Thug not even on no music, like, level. I met him through my big homie, Troop, God bless the dead. He introduced us. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some, these are my little homies. You know what I'm saying? Just look out for him, you know what I'm saying, whenever you see him. And then he died, and it kind of just brought us closer because we was already hanging, like, just meeting each other at the studio, me, him, big homie. You know what I'm saying? And just, like, when he, when he left, it just, like, man, he really felt like a... Uh, Oh, spotlight, man. Don't even, bro, bro. Don't even go back over there. Yeah. <laughs> like, stay over here with me. Like, like that, that type of love. And the rest is rolling history. Yeah. So before you landed on the name Gunna, what other rap names did you go with before that? I was young. It was Young Gang. I used to be called like Young Gang. Like that's what my homies used to call me. Like Youngin. Like I was the young. I always been the young. Like all my homies, twenty fives, twenty sixes. I'm fifteen. <laughs> like my mom, like boy, you you don't stop hanging with these folk, but it like I ain't got nobody else to hang with, like nobody, like the even my partner who two years older than me, like who my best friend, these his these his friends, like these folk come to his house and hang with his big, big brother, so that's how it all happens. Just like man, you youngin, and then like how you spell how I spell youngin was Y U N G U N, mm -hmm. it's kind of like young gun. Got you. So then, like, I started saying I'm young gun, I'm young gun, and my ad was like Gunna, and I just was like, man, Gunna, my name. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. Damn, it's pretty organic how it came together. Do you remember what your first rap was under the name Youngin? I think I do. What was you talking about? I was talking about cardio. I was talking about some cardio. Um, I was talking about cardio green. Green and red tint. I swear to God, back then, I swear to God, I wish I could just. It was a song called, uh, I think it was uh, Swag. I think it was Surfing or something like that. It was something like Swag or something like that. Not Swag, Surfing like them folk song, but mm. it was something like Swag So Cool or something like that. It was cool. Like one of them, one of them songs back then. You still I, got one of them joints floating around? Not that song. I got, I got old, old songs, though. That like, I, was that an old song that you, like, you know, on some Throwback Thursday tip, you, like, you would you consider treating the fans, too, just to show the progression from then to now, or is it just something you just kind of ride to? Maybe when I get stuff? in my just comfort zone, right now I'm in, like, like still, like, just, like, hunger. I got I to gotta get these folk all crap, all heat. Like, I can't even play. Like, none of that just... He y'all feed y'all everything. I feed gonna be heat right now. All killer. When I get in my fella. comfort zone. I maybe just give them something. Just like, oh, this the old me. This how I used to be feeling. Maybe back then. Maybe later. Not now though. I get it. I get it. Yo, hard work pays. New project coming. When you think? Shh, any day now. Like that soon. Like real, real soon. Like it's already already done. Like it's just. It's just got to be presented out and just came to the streets right how I want it, how I see it. Visuals. Videos for the whole project? Um, that's what I'm aiming at. Okay. For the whole project. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm glad we got you in here before the ship took off, man. And it would be, be a here. lot harder to get you in here, man. Glad to be here. So, I, you know, you seem like a type of person who likes to speak his, uh, his future into existence. Is there like a Hollywood hit list? Of females that like you know <laughs> you wouldn't mind being spotted with at a mis miscellaneous award show or miscellaneous party. 
Nah, I ain't nothing like that. I ain't even, I ain't chase a clout like that. So you more you you more like dig around the way, girl. Nah, I like I like the upscale women and stuff like who got their own, they getting their bookings and stuff. I like women like that too. It's just I ain't it ain't nobody who I'm just like, oh, I need to be seen with her, get caught out in traffic oh, with her. Well, like, not for the look, but just somebody, you know, like, you know. Oh, you said just cause, somebody. Cause, yeah, because once you get into the game, your options kind of open up. It's one thing when like, you know, you on the grind and like, you know, there's somebody you interested in, but you know, as yeah. you as you get a little deeper down the road, like, you know, some of these flat tummy T models become a little bit more, you know, obtainable. I feel like I'm a prize, man. So I need, I gotta, I gotta pick and choose wisely. So I can't even just put nobody, put somebody on the pedestal like that, and I ain't, on, and I ain't been with her yet. Got you. So I'm saying, but shout out to all the women, you know, proud of y'all. <laughs> this ain't your first time on Earth, man. You've been here before, bro. <laughs> you got like, you got, you got like, like old grandpa, grandma wisdom. You and think it, so? It, yo, and it works. This that's gonna keep you alive. And off TMZ wisdom for all the wrong reasons. Like, I ain't gonna see you fighting at the BET Awards. No, sir. Nah. No, sir. See me probably fighting with my like my belt or something, make sure it's all the way together. Bro, you met Gala next year. For sure. It's all day. Watch how I drip when I hit that Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Get that, get that, uh, get that Dapper Dan Connect going too, man. Get him on the red carpet with you. Yeah. That'd, Pull up. That'd be lightning, man. So if people want to follow the whole gunner movement and even get freshened up. On everything that you've done up to this point, where do you recommend they go? Um, I recommend you to go to my Instagram, my Twitter, um, my Spotify, iTunes, all my projects on iTunes, all my projects on Spotify, my Instagram at Gunner, my Twitter is at, is at one Gunner Gunner. Um, follow me, you know what I'm saying? Support. Shout out everybody who been supporting. There it is. Cool, calm, and collected. This man is shaking and never stirred. It's Gunner, y'all. Follow yeah. him. Young Gunner. Music. Let's get to dripping. <laughs> <laughs>